What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street, and welcome to another outfit inspiration video. Today I've got 12 looks for you with four different Chelsea boots for you to get inspired. Let's get started with look number one. The first pair of boots we're going to be trying on is a black pair of Chelsea's from RM Williams. These are weatherproof, they have a rubber sole, and they're priced at $4.95. I know you're used to seeing me wearing my own brand, but I wanted to switch it up for today's video. So with black shoes that tend to go for achromatic outfits is something I can't really help. So you'll see me wear a pair of pinstripe pants from H&M, black and white or grayish. And then we've got a gray sweater on and a black bomber shielding jacket from Theory, which is no longer available, but I've got something similar for you. All the links are down below for all the pieces in here. Finish the look off with a gray beanie from Hill City, my favorite right now, for a nice, clean, elevated, yet somewhat casual look. The second one is a lot more edgy, even though we're not playing with much more color. We still got, <laughs> you see me struggling with the boots. Um, we got the boots, we got black distressed jeans with a chain on them from Zara. Then we've got a black t-shirt. And over that, I'm wearing a page flannel shirt that I love. I've had it for a couple seasons now. And in this case, I'm actually not even gonna button it. I'm gonna leave it unbuttoned underneath this Iro Paris leather jacket. So you see definitely a lot more grungy, a lot more edgy, but not necessarily weather appropriate just yet. Make sure to add a beanie, add a scarf, some gloves, and you're good to go. For look number three, we got a pair of black chinos. These are from H&M, as is the black turtleneck that I'm putting on. And with the black Chelsea boots, you see that we have a completely black base for the outfit. So once again, I'm not really introducing much color, especially not on the base, but in this coat, you absolutely can. So it's a black and white coat, but there's actually a little bit of blue in there in this Canali double-breasted coat. We got black leather gloves for a really nice, clean, elevated look, but you can get the inspiration. If you have your Chelsea boots, go for a monochromatic look and then top it off with a fun coat. For look number four, we got a pair of tan chinos from H&M once again, and now we're slipping into a pair of boots that is from my own brand, Ankari Flores, our Wednesday Espresso Suede Chelsea boot. Absolutely love those shoes, and most of the time I can't help but go for an earth colored combination when I'm already wearing a strong earth color like this deep brown. So with the tan chinos, we have a cream sweater from H&M as well. Then we've got a coach shielding jacket, which also sadly is not available anymore. And we're finishing the look off with a tan beanie that's from Zara for a really nice light look and the shoes stand in contrast and really shine with this outfit. For look number five, you see I'm leaving my pants unbuttoned for a second because they're actually suit pants and I need to stuff my scotch and soda turtleneck into those pants before I zip them up. So with these darker colored pants and the darker colored suit as a whole, we're embracing the color of the Chelsea boots much more than we did with the first one. So we're going with a darker palette overall and then we'll have the turtleneck just stick out a little bit as a nice lighter colored accent. And that is because I knew I was going to wear this weatherproof Zara Mac coat. It's sadly not on the website anymore. I fell in love with it when I saw it in the store, but I wanted to wear this coat with this suit and I thought it needed another light color to tie it in. Finishing off with this beanie from Uniqlo, we have a really nice combination of a darker brown color palette contrasted against this lighter colored coat as well as the turtleneck. The look overall definitely more on the spiffy side. That is where the Chelsea boots shine the most, but we'll explore a few more casual options as well. Look number six is one of them a little bit and we're starting it off with a pair of cargo pants which is inherently a little bit more casual these are from my collection that I designed for design now it's sadly not available anymore but H&M has a great pair that looks very similar linked down below I have a navy sweater on this sweater is from Zara and I'm doing something I don't usually do I'm finishing this off with a gray coat I don't usually wear four different colors but since they're all so essential so basic all in a solid color it definitely works. You don't have to always pick the color back up. You don't have to always stick with earth tones. You can definitely mix it up, but try and keep it simple. For look number seven, I'm in a pair of raw denim jeans from H&M, and we're onto a new pair of boots. These are $99 Zara Chelsea boots. They're a little bit higher than all the other boots, a little bit slimmer, and they have a lot more of a casual aesthetic due to the sole and the overall silhouette of the shoe. This caramel turtleneck is from H&M, and you see I'm kind of playing off of the color of the Chelsea boots and then elaborating that a little bit more with this cognac colored leather flight jacket from Andrew Mark. Recently received that, absolutely love that piece. Throw a beanie on up top. If you wear some heat tech underneath, this is definitely a look that works. 
for the colder temperatures, but you probably need a scarf as well. Look number eight is a bit experimental, not gonna lie. You just saw the spiffy version of the suit, the Chelsea boot with the brown suit, but I wanted to show you guys that you can also wear it much more casually, especially if you have a more casual Chelsea boot like the one I have on my feet right now. I'm wearing a gray Zara sweater instead of a turtleneck. It's a little bit loose. We've got color blocking going on, lighter gray, darker gray, cream color, and tan to pick the color up of the shoes. And then we're throwing the suit jacket on top of that. Now this works for me, I like it, don't get me wrong, but this Hugo Boss suit is actually called the broken suit because you can choose to wear the suit jacket or this bomber jacket made of the same fabric as the pants. So it's actually a suit. I untucked the sweater a little bit, threw on a junkie scarf that's a little bit more of a color pop. And this I think is an absolutely great way to rock a suit a lot more casually this fall winter season when you're wearing a pair of Chelsea boots that is a little bit more on the casual side to begin with. Look number nine honestly might be my favorite out of today's 12 looks. Uh, it's a special one. We've got lighter colored H&M conscious jeans and you'll see that the hem is honestly just right with these jeans for Chelsea boots. And then we've got this fun houndstooth sweater that's very fuzzy from Zara in a really nice pink color. And I thought, okay, let's go for a bold look with the double breasted suit supply pink coat. I bought this last year. It's still available slash it's available again. So you guys can cop this look. Down below is the links for all these pieces. I really like it. Lighter colored, a little playful, and definitely something special. Uh, <laughs> definitely something special. <laughs> look number 10, uh, back in the black chinos that we had on before. And this time we have a pair of forest green Chelsea boots on from my brand, priced at $295, handmade in Italy. And we're playing with this green color Picking it back up in the Zara turtleneck that happens to almost match it perfectly. This green Chelsea boot stands for any colored Chelsea boot or any Chelsea boot that's a little bit more of a standout. So if you have something like that in your wardrobe, try and tie the color back in in one or two places so that it just looks a little bit more cohesive. I tied it in several places, the beanie, the turtleneck, as well as this grayish green Club Monaco scarf from last year. And then I finished the look off with a flannel shirt jacket from H&M. Definitely need some heat tech underneath here, maybe throw on some gloves, but when it's not super freezing, you can easily rock this in the winter, at least in New York. Second to last look back in the raw denim jeans from H&M, and this time we're going for a denim on denim combination. What I like doing with denim on denim is either matching them perfectly for a Canadian tuxedo look, or going lighter up top like I'm doing now with this lighter colored denim shirt from Uniqlo. The puffer jacket is from Uniqlo as well, and you see, once again, I'm picking up the green color of the Chelsea boot in the jacket just to make it really nice and cohesive. And I've said this many times, but I think denim is a neutral when it comes to fashion. So it's not really a color. So I don't consider this blue to me. That's just denim. And then I'm finishing a look off with a tan beanie. Obviously, you have a bunch of different colors to choose from, whatever you think goes well with this. But overall, this look could be a lot more casual if I had a pair of sneakers on. The Chelsea boots elevate this, make it a little bit more mature. And overall, this look is definitely a great and easy option to wear Chelsea boots this season. Moving on to the last look. And for that last look, we're starting off with a pair of gray jeans. These are from H&M once again, and a third look in the green Chelsea boots from Ankari Flores. What I'm gonna do up top is for this one, I'm actually putting on the white t-shirt because it's part of the look. It's not just the base layer to add some warmth. I wanted to peek out underneath this, one of my favorites right now, gray hoodie from Hill City. Honestly, super comfortable, feels like it's really high quality. So we're going for a really nice and clean gray and white combination up top for the entire look. This jacket that you're looking at is from Seven Diamonds. I copped it at Nordstrom a couple weeks ago. But the beauty of this jacket is that it's actually reversible and it's just done really, really well. The one side doesn't look any better or worse than the other. I just thought that the darker gray worked a little bit better with this combination of three different gray tones. And you really just let the green shoes shine as a special part of the outfit. And on that, we end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some inspiration. I know we walked through a few different things, colors, layers, different silhouettes of the boots. I definitely hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to mix it up a little bit, go a little bit higher in the price point with the RM Williams and go a little bit lower and go a little bit lower with the price point of the Zara boots just to not only push my own brand. I hope you guys appreciate that. Leave comments and thoughts down below. Make sure to like the video if you did like it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already because we've got a bunch more content like this coming in the near future. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. As always, stay dapper. Bye.